Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about family bonding is everything. Now, the reason why I didn't record for last week's video is because me and my family went on a trip to Utah last week. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this week's video, is how my trip to Utah went. Now, for those of you that don't know or haven't heard, is that this was my very second time going on a plane. First time I went on a plane was when I went to um, Denver, Colorado when I was 16 years old. You can check out that video before or after this video whenever you want. I'll put in a link somewhere if you guys wanted to go check that out yourselves. Now, when I went to the airport, we had to go to the airport pretty early Thursday morning. So I noticed a big, a little difference when it comes to the airport security is that I had to take off my shoes when um, the, the people had to check through my stuff with the security. And that was odd to me because last time I went through the airport security when I was 16 years old, I never had to take off my shoes. So this was very new for me, but I did what they told me to do. I took off my shoes and they checked through my stuff and everything was all good. I got my stuff back, put my shoes on. Everything was all good. It's just that threw me off. I've never experienced anything like that before, but I'm sure that's probably going to continue happening whenever I, the, nef the next time I go on a plane. So going through the plane, it wasn't that bad. And as soon as we arrived to Utah, which took two hours from Texas to Utah, two hours, two hours, 40 minutes, something along those lines. And the weather was so nice. It was such a refreshing relief to finally take a break from all that Texas weather. Because in Utah, when I arrived, the temperature was like around 80 degrees with a nice side of fresh breeze. And that felt so, so good. I couldn't stand the Texas heat. I was ready to leave Texas just for a little while. Didn't want to permanently leave Texas. That is never going to happen. But I was glad to at least take a refreshing break from Texas. There, The heat in Texas is so bad to the point where it could be like 80 degrees, but the humidity feels like 102. And everybody would just be sweating, drips and drips of sweat, and their clothes would be soaked, and everybody would have to go in and take cold showers. And it was that ridiculous how crazy Texas heat can be. I'm sure there are other states with heat worse than Texas, but I can't think of anything worse than Texas. Maybe Florida, but who knows? Maybe it's just me. So anyway, on my arrival to Utah, very nice, very refreshing. Took me a while for my ears to reboot from the little popping noises that the altitude had to provide. You know how ear popping in altitude can be. Not so fun, not so great, but that's how things work around here. It's called physics. <laughs> so anyway, on our, on our arrival, we went to our hotel. The thing is with our hotel and our planning schedule, my auntie had not an itinerary, like a little planner schedule. She was right on deck with this type shit. And honestly, what would we do without an itinerary? We would just be doing random shit. But Thankfully, with her, we got an itinerary. We planned a lot of good. We planned a lot of good shit. Some things that aren't planned, we just played by ear, like my mom would always say. So anyway, we had a freaking blast. Things were a little bit different because we went to Park. We we landed in Salt Lake City, Utah, but we stayed in Park City, Utah, for two days. We stayed in a hotel in Park City, Utah, for two days. And then we moved to Salt Lake City, back to Salt Lake City, and stayed in a hotel for one day. Things were just a little bit different because we just did our usual, you know, souvenir shopping, going out to eat, family bonding. That was the most important part for me because I really enjoy the family bonding, especially during the first night when we went out to our hotel at that night. You know, sitting in a fire pit, talking about our feelings, you know, especially me. I poured out all of my emotional feelings that I've been feeling for the past several weeks 
especially with work coming around that I'm not going to be discussing in this video. That's reserved for me and maybe a diary that could be coming up in the future. <laughs> anyway, it was all in good fun. The reason why we went to Utah is because my mom has been doing online schooling for the past couple of years to get her master's degree of science and of, of being an informaticist. She was trying to get a new position at work just so she can get her up in pay and get her brain updated and new information that she probably hasn't learned yet, which is good. You always got to learn some new things. And no matter how old you are, a little PSA, no matter how old you are, whether if you're in your 50s or near late 70s or hell, mid 30s, I don't give a shit. No, no matter how old you are, you can still have a chance to go into online schooling, take a class in college and graduate and get your degree. It don't matter because whenever I went to my mom's graduation, in Salt Lake City, Utah, there were 900 people graduating and most of them were in their mid, mid 50s to probably older than that and 900 people, Jesus Christ, I am so glad that me and my family didn't have to sit through all that bullshit because all as soon as I heard my mom through the speaker and saw that jumbotron, I was like, all right, heard her name. Screamed out her name. Let's fucking get the shit out of here. Let's go. Move. Mm. But we didn't leave immediately. We had to wait for her. So as soon as we did, we celebrated with a glass of champagne and tequila, too. That was that was way before her grad, the, like a day or two before her graduation actually started. Tried some tequila. Wasn't that great. It did put a pep in my step, though. It gave me a little bit of energy. The, t the It smelled like Sharpie ink. The taste was horrible, but got a little pep in my step. The champagne wasn't that great either. It looked like piss. <laughs> but the taste wasn't was kind of eh. I prefer my usual sweet margarita, not champagne or straight up tequila. But regardless, I drank both. It was all right. It was decent, and as soon as my mom got graduated, she could have almost cried. I'm pretty sure she did cry. Who, who knows? She could have cried, and I wouldn't blame her if she did. She accomplished so much for the past couple of years because she can do hard things. That's what the lady said up in the Jumbotron before she announced everybody's names. We can do hard things. WGU grad, basically, and all that shit. So, after all that was said and done, our last day of Salt Lake City, Utah, came to an end, which was Sunday. Sunday, we had to go, we had to, our flight had to board at 4 p.m., which, so late. Like, why did it have to be so late? Couldn't it have been earlier? Oh, fuck. I don't give a shit. It, what's done is done. Whenever it's set, just leave it at it as is. We could complain as much as you want, but we just we just did it nonetheless. We left at 4 o'clock. We arrived at Texas around 8. Stayed at my grandma's. And then on Monday, I arrived home with me and my mom. We had a blast. I don't know where I'd be without my family. If I had spilled out all my emotions, spent some time with my family, had a couple of shots of tequila, it was fun. We also did some souvenir shopping here and there. And I did get myself a little souvenir too. Got myself a little pet. This is an alpaca guinea pig. And don't worry, it's fake. It's not real. It's got real alpaca fur. It makes it so soft. It was 50% off, so it was, and it originally it was probably like, what, $50, $60, but it was 50% off, so now it was like, what, $30? You're probably going to be thinking to yourself, why would you waste so much money on such a small little thing? I don't give a shit. Well, I don't give a shit because it's so soft, and whenever I pet it, 
it releases all the stress and tension that it had to, that all of the stress was pent up in my brain for so many weeks that I had to release. And petting this thing feels so, so relaxing. I initially had a name for this cute little guy, but I cited against it because someone didn't agree with the name I gave it. And that's okay. So anyway, I'd like to give a thanks to my family and my mom for graduating. My family being there and very supportive of me and my emotions and how I've been feeling the last couple of weeks. I don't know where I'd be without my family and especially my mom. She's She's been working so hard to be getting where she's at and she deserves every good thing that's coming to her, especially the rest of my family too. I can't leave them out either. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.